Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video and I have quite the interesting video for you right now. So over on Crystal Isles, there's a very special type of tree. Now that special type of tree is kind of similar to is it on other maps, but uh, it's got some more even neat, unique things about it. So there are trees over on Crystal Isles that look like this. They've kind of got like these like red lines going up them, almost like they're like volcano e. Those trees, if you hit them with the right thing, will give you a bunch of charcoal. Now, I've got some dinos here to show you what I mean by that. Now, what I'll tell you, Therizino does not work. A lot of people are trying to use a Therizino for this. They can't even gather things from these trees. Now, just so you know, the dinos that I am testing right now, and I'll show you an even better way to do it at the end of the video. Like, you can solo just get loads of charcoal, but we're going to test all these dinos to show you which ones get the best charcoal from these trees. And it's not going to be the one you think. So we've gone ahead and got them all. None are leveled at all. They're all 150 wild tames. Uh, now I force tamed them in. So they're all going to be like no levels, anything. So there's nothing special about any of them. So now if I go after this with a Doodicarus, just so you can see, one times, this is one times, 36 unleveled, 36 charcoal, okay? So 36 charcoal from a Doodicarus from one swim. So not too shabby. 36 with the Yankee from that tree. Now, both the Doodicarus and the Yankee on one times are tied, so I'll put them next to each other for the amount of charcoal that you can get from them. We're going to go ahead and take this Fire Wyvern right here and show you 51. So, this is an unleveled Fire Wyvern. Just so you know, he gets a load of charcoal. So, there you go. There's a pretty easy one. So there's 93 charcoal. So he took what, four swings? Got 184 charcoal on one times. 184 charcoal on one times. Not too shabby. So the wyvern takes a very solid lead on that one. Now, just to be fair to the wood gatherers of this game, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the castroides and the mammoth just to check. I actually haven't even checked them yet, so we'll see. Oh. It does gain a little bit of charcoal, but it pretty much exclusively gains wood out of that. And what it seems to be, or at least what seems to be the biggest thing, is that basically the uh, when you are... Oh man, hello, Hyena Donna, you're just going to like, you know, hang? See ya. Uh, when you do gather it, it works better when you're using things that gather like a pick or rock and stone and not based on the uh, ability to gather wood. So it's not those trees. These trees will just straight up give you wood, just so you know. It's these trees that kind of have like that funky whitish brown with the red going up it. Mammoth did a pretty good job on that one. 27, not too shabby. Okay, we'll try one more just to be fair to it. It's a wood gatherer though, so it's going to gather a lot more wood. So maybe, okay. So, the mammoth might be feasible if you want wood and charcoal in this next little idea. And I'll show you how to gather just so much it's almost funny. Alright, so let's go ahead and go to the next one. Now this is the mantis, my friends. Now, if you've never used a Mantis before, they're pretty awesome. Uh, they've got some sweet bonuses. I have unleveled this thing in Melee. Nothing at all. So you can get these a lot better than the one I have right here. So, when I swing, yeah, you see that. I know you see that. 188 charcoal on that swing. Now, for the next part of our run, I'll go ahead and show you how to get a bunch of these without having to encumber your Mantis. Uh, it's pretty crazy. So yeah, charcoal trees are pretty nice. Now, this is just testing, just so you can see, but the best way to get your charcoal from this is to use a mantis. If you wanted to combo deal it, you could easily use a mammoth, and uh, I'll go ahead and show you how to do this solo and get so much charcoal, it's almost funny. All right, I'll be right back. All right, guys, and we are back. Now, over on Crystal Isles, I am in an area that is really kind of unique. Now, there's lots of trees here. You can use a boat and kind of just go around and get these mangrove trees. However, in these mangrove trees sections, I'll go ahead and show you the map here to show you where we are. Uh, give or take like 56, 67. The entire area is just looks just like this, so it's not like you know, I'll go ahead and fly up and show you. It's basically a giant swampland on the other side of that bad boy right there. Now, what's so crazy about this is that, one, you can get a ton of wood or thatch, depending on what you want. And then you can also gather a just load of charcoal just by driving your boat around. 
Now, if you are solo, it makes it a lot easier to kind of have this guy up in the front of your boat. A mammoth, um, just to show you, um, it's not a tame that will actually naturally gather something for you, which kind of sucks. Uh, but you can use this mammoth to clear out pretty much all of this stuff for you while you're driving your boat. Obviously, I'm not going to do that, but um, you can clear out all these trees, get yourself a ton of wood, so much so that it's almost funny. And if you really wanted to and just use the mammoth, you could. That wouldn't be necessarily a problem, and you could just go over here and, you know, smack these trees, get a little bit of charcoal and a bunch of wood out of it. But what you really want to do is while you're driving this mantis around on the boat, now obviously it's better if you have two people because then you can have someone to switch between these two concepts and just get a ton of charcoal and stuff with your mantis. You're even better using a form of a skiff. But if you just get your mantis out, again, unleveled, nothing special about him. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move forward onto this tree and I'll show you how much charcoal that we can get out of this. Now, there's 134. 217. This is on one times, so don't forget that. One times, I am smacking in an absolute load of charcoal. So, I mean, we're talking numbers that are kind of amazing. Uh, if you have two, maybe three guys, you can have one person driving, one person kind of running around grabbing charcoal for you, and then the other guy is just, you know, picking up as you need. But there are so many of these trees here, you can just walk around and then on the outside, you'll get some that are in the water as well. So if you had two or three guys, it'd be pretty awesome. But still, I mean, you can get so much charcoal from these trees, it's almost funny. Um, so, I mean, I've spent less than, what, maybe a minute doing it, and I've got 1,200 charcoal. So in one minute of doing this method, I have 1,200 charcoal, which is way faster than any Indie Forge is ever going to be able to give that to you. And if you've got a skiff... Just never worry about charcoal runs again. It's crazy. Or if you're on any sort of boosted server or level up this guy's melee at all. Just a crazy amount of stuff. So, anyways, uh, the picks don't matter too much as long as you've got some pretty good melee. I mean, you're going to want to get the higher picks, the more you're going to get, obviously. So I've got some pretty high picks on this guy. But, I mean, you can get so much charcoal. It's almost funny. So, anyways, hopefully this video helps you out. Get a whole bunch of charcoal really quickly. And uh, other than that, teach out.